and presidential candidate of the New Patriotic Party, Dr. Mohamed Dubalmia, is assuring Ghanaians that his government will not tolerate bribery and corruption, touting the NDC's efforts in using digitalization to fight the menace. Speaking at a stakeholder's engagement in Ifija Sechere East constituency, Dr. Balmia said the NPP government has made significant progress in the fight against corruption. Let's talk to Nana Bwachi Iyadom, who uh, is with the NPP's flag bearer and joins us. Hi, Nana Bwachi, good afternoon. It's the third day of the tour for the New Patriotic Party's flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia. He has um, been to um, about six constituencies so far since he began the tour of the Ashanti region. And Setra East constituency happens to be the seventh constituency that the vice president has stored so far in the Ashanti region. Today he will be visiting three constituencies. Um, moving right away from Efeja Setra East, the vice president will be going to Kwabri East. Constituency. We are currently live at Wiamuasi here at the Efeja Setra East constituency clergy, traditional leaders, opinion and, and stakeholders in the constituency. Well, the message of the Vice President earlier today said that the Kafuado government has been able to curb corruption in a way that has cleared ghost names from the payroll of SNIT, with about 29,000 names being cleared from the um, payroll um, um, the payroll of SNIT so far. And the Vice President has said that with regards to what they have done so far using digitalization and the invention of the Ghana card, anything of that sort being called ghost name is something of the past. And he intends to do much more if elected President of the Republic in December 7th. The Vice President has touched on a lot of things, but I must say that he is going to visit every 47, all the 47 constituencies in the Ashanti region. From Riyamwasi here at Afija Setre East constituency, he'll be going to Kwabri East and then wrap up the day at Mensha North constituency. The Vice President is expected to break today and also move to the Greater Accra region tomorrow to launch one thing that he has really been touting, that is the credit scoring system. And so tomorrow, the Vice President will be in Accra to launch the credit score system. He has been saying it throughout his campaign to the Ashanti region, and he said that the people of the region and everyone across the country should expect him to launch the credit score system. He has also been talking about the Buy Ghana First policy. He has been talking about um, the, his intention to make sure that anything with regards to LGBTQ does not take place if elected president. His decision or his intention to curb illegal mining is also on top of his policies with the introduction of several measures which will make sure that there's a proper licensing um, measures being put in place to make sure that people do not destroy our forest reserves and our water bodies. These are some of the things that the Vice President has been saying. But he would not swipe away from moving on or criticizing his opponent, John Dramani Mahama, who he says has just four terms, uh, four years if elected president to run the country which he says that it's not going to be possible because he's not going to hold the country to account or we will not be able to hold him account. So the, the former president should not be allowed closer to the presidency. These are some of the things that the Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has been touching on as he goes around the country and ends up in the Ashanti region. He has been to 15 regions so far. The Ashanti region happens to be the 16th region that the Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is visiting so far. So MFA, you can see the number of people here a lot of them crowd moving in to listen to the message of the Vice President, Dr. Mamudu Baumia, here at the Fidesz East.